Hey there guys, Artistic Nick here, thanks for the click. In today's drawing tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a realistic dog using graphite only. This is a drawing that I've been really excited about doing. This is actually a drawing of my pet, Kira. Uh, she's an American Akita and we got her on New Year's Day 2018, so we've had her for a couple of months now. Uh, I've been waiting just to have a little bit of time uh, to actually draw this. These drawings take me about ten and a half hours in total, so I've been really busy. As most of you that have subscribed to the channel know, I've been doing daily videos, I've been doing a lot of request videos. So this was something that I found I had a little bit of time over the last couple of days and thought I'd get round to it. So I'm using Caran d'Ache pencils for the entire drawing here. I start off with a 2H pencil, which is a very light pencil, and I just go over the outlines, I freehand the outlines in. I'm then using a combination of an HB, a 2B, a 4B, and then finally the darkest pencil that I use is a 6B pencil. As with all drawings, uh, whether they're cartoon or they're graphite drawings, what you want to be doing is starting in the darkest areas. So uh, my dog has a black muzzle uh, and she has some black underneath the collar area, which you can see that I'm drawing in now. And I'm using a 2B pencil. Now what you'll notice as I'm uh, making this video and as I'm drawing this, uh, this dog, I don't actually use anything to blend. So I don't use a blending stump. I don't use tissue or a Q-tip or a, a, any, any sort of implement to blend. Uh, the technique that I'm using is I actually use a very soft brush. So using a 2B pencil, that allows me to get enough graphite into the drawing by brushing it in. And then what I use is a Mono Zero eraser, which is the white small pencil that you can see me using uh, in the time lapse. I know it's rather fast, but you'll see me intermittently using a white, it looks like a white pencil. This is a very fine eraser. And what I do is I start to take white hair out of the lightest areas and this just gives you a realistic look and you can layer this look. So I will take some hair out, I will rebrush and then I'll take hair out again. I'm always reinforcing the darkest areas. When you're looking for a realistic drawing, it, the most important thing is that you have contrast in the darkest areas compared to your lightest areas. So I am always reinforcing the darker areas to make sure that as the values around the darkest areas come up, I'm having to bring the darker values back up again. Otherwise, the drawing looks a little bit washed out and you don't get that sense of realism, that photo realism. Uh, my dog Akira is standing next to a pair of my wellies. Uh, it was a photograph that I took uh, a couple of days ago. She was standing outside waiting to go on a walk. So I thought I'd add these in. I just thought it was a nice element, uh, the contrast between the white fur and the dark boots. And this is always something that's really important when you are trying to draw a picture that is going to be uh, realistic. If you're going to put your name to this drawing, it's got to be something that you feel that you can do the best job. Uh, sometimes people will ask me to draw something from a photograph and the photo reference just isn't good enough and, and I'd actually do refuse some people by saying I need a better reference image because I need to be able to show some of the skills that I've learned. We're getting towards the end of this video so I'm just adding a shadowed area towards the end uh, but I just wanted to thank you so much guys for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't done so already go and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn notifications on. I'm also doing request videos so if you have a request for me that can be a cartoon, an anime, a realistic drawing then send me that down below in the comments. I really appreciate all the feedback, all the likes, shares. It's really helping my channel grow. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Let me know what you think of this final picture of my dog Akira. Um, she's beautiful uh, in my eyes, but just let me know what you think. Uh, and I'd love to hear your requests. Don't forget to hook up with me on social media. The links to all of those are down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.